The American Cancer Society estimates 310,000 new cases of breast cancer will be reported just this year alone, and 42,000 women will die from breast cancer. Well, Clarksville cancer survivors stepping up to help others fight cancer using artificial intelligence. Here's News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry. At the age of 18, Jessica Baladad had a benign tumor removed from her breast. After that experience, Jessica performed monthly self-breast exams. Fast forward, I'm 33 years old. I perform an intentional self-exam in the shower, and I found a lump, and I became the fourth generation on my dad's side of the family to be diagnosed. And altogether, 14 women in my family have been diagnosed with breast cancer, and we have no known gene mutation. Jessica underwent 16 rounds of chemo, a double mastectomy, 24 rounds of radiation, a preventive hysterectomy, and reconstruction surgery. In sharing her journey, Jessica tells me she would often get asked, Jessica, how did you even know to get diagnosed? And I said, I do my self exams every month after my menstrual cycle. Aren't you? And it was crickets. Those questions planted the seed for the app Feel for Your Life in 2021. The app features tools for monthly self-breast exams. Now, Jessica is announcing a personal touch to the app that uses artificial intelligence to walk you through self-examinations and cancer treatment. If you're a, a breast cancer patient, you're like, I want to seek proton therapy or I want to you know, find an oncologist that's doing clinical trials. I've built it so that you can also find those locations. Going into the app, if I type, I just heard that I have breast cancer. What do I do next? Not only will the app give you a recommendation on what to do next, it'll give questions to ask your doctor. And if you take a pathology report and copy and paste it into the app, it'll translate it into simple language. On Tuesday, the U.S. Task Force released a new recommendation for women to get a mammogram as early as 40 years old. The original recommended screening age was 50. Jessica tells me this is a step forward in continuing the conversation about breast cancer detection. Finding a great doctor, doing your self exams, understanding your breast density, and knowing your genetic disposition to cancer. Those are great things to get you started in your breast health advocacy. In Clarksville, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2.